And that's the situation at Achimoto School this morning. Now, your election headquarters comes your way today at 5 p.m. with a joy ballot box. We take you live to Hohoi in the Volta region and join my colleague Winston Amwa for live updates. Okay, so we're currently at the Hohoe Municipal Assembly, the forecourt of the old Municipal Assembly here at Hohoe, where tonight the maiden edition of Ballot Box for Election 2020 will be held. And as you can see uh, just behind me, that's the backdrop, so that's the joy uh, Ballot Box. Everything is set, we're getting ready, the stage is very much ready. And so at 5 p.m., we're expecting everybody to be seated, and then we get on. But, you know, as we got here, we've been doing a lot of things. We've been, uh, you know, putting the ballot boxes at the various locations, as we talked about. We had one at the old municipal assembly here. We had another one at the uh, police station here in Hohoe, and then one at the Pandu municipal assembly, and another at the Afajato uh, South police station. Now, they've been voting, they've cast their vote, and they have been telling us issues that will be influencing the choices that they make come December. 7 2020 now one interesting point is that of course we all do know that there's COVID-19 and people will be talking about the things that we have to do in order to ensure that we solve COVID-19 but I was struck when market women said that look we want our children to go to school but we just don't want them to go to school under the current circumstances so we want to hear from duty bearers we want to hear from those who want to lead this country how they are going to beat COVID-19 so that our children can go to school we certainly do not want our children to go to school in the current state but we want something done as quickly as possible or as soon as possible so that they can go to school this is one of the things that we'll be talking about uh, today we'll be finding out some of the measures that are going to be put in place to ensure that Ghana is able to beat COVID-19. But just before uh, you know, we even continue, it's important we get to know uh, the percentages as in you know, what people have been saying and uh, issues that are going to be influencing uh, their votes. Now, issues and those top issues have to do with road employment and education representing 71.31 percent and then the remaining uh, seven issues representing 28.69 uh, percent and if you look at the top uh, you know three issues that's road has 24.35 percent so out of those who cast your vote 24.35 percent say well uh, some of the issues that would influence how we vote would have to do with the nature of our roads in fact, as we were coming here, where we drove on the roads, once we got it, people asked us, and that simply means, I'm sure you've seen the roads, you've seen the nature of the roads, and we believe that you're going to be talking about the nature of the roads. But one thing that is also very, very important here is that 25% of the voters within the Hoho municipality and um, Bandu municipality and Afajato South District say that employment is for them the most important thing. They'll be looking at measures that are going to be put in place to ensure that they're able to get employment before voting. So which party or which you know, uh, parliamentary candidate will be able to achieve this is that person that you're going to be voting for, with 21.74% talking about issues to do with education. There's been talks about uh, you know, the need to cancel. Uh, that's the uh, licensing examination and also the fact that uh, teacher trainee students or those who complete teacher trainee institutions should not be made to do national service to the cancellation of the double track system and some others have been talking about um, you know um, security and peace we've been talking about youth and development as well as a release of locked up funds so people would be able to actually get in <clears throat> to business we have been speaking to the security uh, agencies, we've spoken to the uh, municipal, the divisional police commander, he's assured us that everything will be put in place. They've been here to inspect uh, I mean, all the entries to make sure that nobody gets in illegally and uh, they've promised that by 4pm they'll be here to ensure that everything goes on smoothly.